Yesterday, we introduced you to Chelsea, a surrogate from Oregon. She was carrying two babies, twins, and we also introduced the genetic fathers of the babies, Shane and Daniel, a gay couple from Canada. That story was shot in August at 27 weeks of pregnancy. Well, twin brothers Ethan and Nathan were born in late October, and this week we drove to Terrebonne to meet them. To come in and see them holding their babies for the first time um, after, you know, eight or nine months is definitely like exactly what you waited for and like why you did it. Like Chelsea Furman gave birth to twin um, babies, Nathan and Ethan, on October 24th, 2015. But they're not her babies. She is a surrogate. The eggs were provided by one anonymous egg donor. Daniel and Shane are the genetic fathers. Nathan has Daniel's DNA and Ethan has Shane's. So literally the whole year just flew by. It's weird <laughs> to think that they're here already. But. Would you do the process again? Yeah, I think I would. It was, it is rewarding. They're not my children, obviously, and I'm super happy for them and like that's what, you know, what the whole thing was for, um, you know, and hopefully still get, you know, I still, they still send me pictures and stuff. The couple, Daniel and Shane, came to Oregon from Canada to start their family. Paid surrogacy is not legal in their country, but Oregon has no law against it. It's kind of unfair that we have to go through all this when we couldn't do it in Canada. Daniel and Shane had to pay nearly $100,000 to start a family and plow through piles of paperwork. But they say they couldn't be happier that they did it. We would have done anything, so for us, no matter the cost, it was worth it. Chelsea delivered the two babies by C-section because Ethan was positioned upside down in her womb. Daniel and Shane waited anxiously outside the operating room. We kind of felt like paparazzi waiting for the, <laughs> the star to come out. And there they were, about six pounds each. A little premature, but generally healthy. They've got very different personalities now. Yeah, so. this one's kind of mellow, Nathan. Ethan, oh my God, <laughs> you should hear he cry. Daniel, Shane, and the twins so are heading back to Canada this that's week. That's Chelsea says it will be hard to say goodbye, but she knew what she signed up for. No, as long as you're mentally prepared um, and you know what you're getting into, um, it is definitely rewarding um, at the end of it. So. I would certainly recommend it. Chelsea will continue to send breast milk via mail. She says she looks forward to spending more time with her own daughter and going back to nursing school. As for Shane and Daniel, their new life is just beginning. Just to look like a cell and just to believe they developed into this, it's, it's going to be amazing to keep watching them grow. Oregon doesn't keep track of how many surrogate births happen per year here, but I spoke to one lawyer who specializes in these matters, and she says she's handled at least 10 surrogacy cases in just the last two months. In the studio, I'm Kelly Anderson, KVAL News.